Hello and a good morning, friends of Sudoku. A little earlier today, for some reason, the New York Times Hard Sudoku Puzzle was available at least two hours earlier than usual. Today is October 8, and this is 2023. This is the Hard Sudoku Puzzle. They do publish three puzzles every day, an easy, medium, and a hard one. And we'll get started right away. I see a couple of sevens here blocking across. These three squares are blocked by sevens, and this seven blocks this square. So there's only one square left, and that is a corner for a seven. More sevens, uh, we have a seven blocking over here and a seven blocking up. Therefore, a seven must go here or here, and therefore here because this seven blocks this square, right? So here's a seven. Anything else that comes to mind? A two must go here or here because we have a two blocking down and over. So two goes here or here. We also have twos here or here. Five must go either here or here. Therefore, we need a five for one of these two squares. And we need a five for this corner here because we got these two fives blocking these four squares and this five blocking up. So here's a five. And now we know that this is a five and we have a nine, six and an eight for these three squares here. Let's see. No. I don't know what to do about that yet. We have a six here or here though. And therefore, because of these two sixes blocking these three squares. So we're going to end up with a six in one of these two squares here. Can we see anything else? We can see an eight in one of these two squares because this eight blocks across, this eight blocks down. So we have eight here or here, therefore here or here. So this square is restricted. The candidates are eight and nine. We have a seven I almost forgot to mention. We have these two sevens blocking these squares here, and we have these two sevens blocking across here. So here's a seven. Now a four in row three is restricted to these two squares as candidates. Look at this nice pattern, seven, five, seven, five, and seven, five. We also have a restriction on fours. Four must to go here or here but I'm not sure how that helps me at the moment. We need a two, three, four, five, eight to complete row eight. Five must go here or here, and eight must go here and or here. So this is a two, three, four, five here or here. That is not as clear cut as I would like it. We only have one three and one nine in the grid today. I hope that my headphones are capable of filtering out the barking dogs outside. Fun fact, the center column five needs a one, two, three, four, and a nine. We have a one, two, and a four blocking these two squares. Therefore, they must be a three and a nine. Can we use that for anything? Now we need a one, two, and a four for these squares here. and. All I can say is that a four can't go here and a two must go here or here. So the three and a nine here, that leaves the five, eight and a six for these squares here. The six of course blocks here. So this is a five or an eight. It's funny that the three and a nine are exactly the same two numbers for which we only have one each here and here. But since one of these is a nine, must be a nine, this can't be a nine, and this nine blocks this square, so here's a nine. Now we have a nine either here or here, and these two must be an eight and a six. Now for column three, we need to find uh, three, four, six, seven, eight, don't we? We have a four, six, seven, eight, all bearing down on this square here, so it must be a three. 
and we are, will now be looking for a six, seven, eight, and a four. We have a four and a seven here, so this is a six, eight, four, seven. Seven must go here or here. And a four could go here, and it could also go here. I'm really uncertain what to do here. Now let me examine the bottom row. We only have three givens, but I'm working off of the fact that six and eight can't go in these three squares. And they can't go in these two squares here because of the six and eight. So we have a six and an eight for these two squares here. And funnily enough, this is also a six or an eight. So we got a six and an eight pair blocking up here. And now we are looking at these four squares. It can't be six and eight. They therefore must be uh, one, two, four, and three. And we have a three and a four here. So this is a one, two. And this now must be a three and a four, giving me a three here and a four here. We know that these are nine and three. The three now blocks over, giving me a nine here and a three here. Now we have a nine in one of these two squares. Can we do more with this? So six, eight, and three, nine pairs seem to be pivotal for this puzzle today. So if these are ones and twos, and we got a six and an eight blocking across here, we know that these two must be a six and an eight. Therefore, this has got to be a nine. Now we need a one, two, and a four across row three. There's a one and a two blocking here. So this is a four. This is a one, two, but we knew that. And this is now also a one, two. Now we have a four blocking here and here, these five squares. So here's a four. We have a four blocking down and a four blocking over. Here's another four. Now one of these must be a four. We have a three here or here. Can we say more about the threes? No, not yet. I can find a one. We have a one blocking over here. We have a one blocking over here. And we have this one blocking up. So here's a one. Two, five, seven, eight now across the center row. We have a two and a five blocking here. So this is a seven, eight. We actually have a five here because of this five blocks here, right? And this five blocks of these two squares. So here's a five. Now we have a five here and a two, seven, eight across here. Don't we need one more five to complete the fives? I think we do. We have a five blocking over here and over here and down here. So, so here is a five. And that was the first finished number for today. This is like pulling teeth. But here now we know that these must be a six and an eight, don't we? Therefore, we know that these two must be a six and an eight. And therefore, we know that these two must be a three and a nine. The nine blocks over, giving me a three here and a nine here. That should help. Because now these two must be a one and a two, and the two blocks over, giving me a one here and a two here. So these being six and eight makes these a three and a nine. Here we still have our one and a two. Across the bottom row, we need a three, six, and an eight. We have an eight and a six blocking down, so the three must go here. Now we have six, eight here and here. And we have a three up here somewhere. We find a four and a two, I think, because we have a two and a four here, and we have a two and a four here. We need a two and a four for these two squares. And that means that this square has got to be an eight. Now we know that this must be a six, and this must be an eight. And that gives me a six here and an eight here. This now must be a three. And this square here, can only be a six. That gives us a six over here. Now we know that this is an eight. And these are still a two and a four. Therefore, these must be a nine and a one. The one blocks down, giving me a nine here and a one here. I think we can finally deal with these six eight here because we found this six. So it gives us an eight here and a six here and therefore an eight here. Now we have an eight here 
and this puzzle crumbles. Here we're looking for a seven and a six. The six blocks over. Here's therefore a seven. Here's a six. Here a two. Therefore a two here and a four here. Now we have a four here. Here we're looking for a nine and a seven. The seven, of course, forces a nine to go here. Here's a seven. One and nine for these two squares. Nine blocks over. Here's a one. Here is a nine. This one now forces a one here and a two here. Here now, a three and a two. We also have these still to deal with. They have to be a one and a two. The one here up here forces a one here and a two here. Therefore, a two must go here and a three here. Now we have a three here and the final nine goes here. That wasn't necessarily an easy puzzle today. At least I didn't think so. I hope that you did better. Thank you for watching and bye for now.